This is good. I'm the king of the sand of the ocean. So Mika was on his way to Vietnam, but due to some struggle or misunderstanding with the visa thing in Bangkok, he ended up in Thailand instead. Me, on the other hand, was on my way to the supermarket, not as fancy, but ended up at the Asian market and bought almost two kilos of durian instead. So I might not be in Thailand, but I have durian. This is good. Actually, really good. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. Durian dinner in a park in Norway in the middle of April. Mm. It's good. Oh, oh. And it's nothing compared to what it can be, but this is good. Mm. You know, when I got to Thailand the last time, I asked people around, as soon as I got there, I even wrote on Facebook, on like Facebook groups, is the durian good enough for eating? And can you find the durian? I arrived like 11 o'clock and asked, can you find the durian 11 o'clock? And everybody I asked answered the same. Now the durian is not worth eating now, it's too expensive. And that wasn't really the answer of my question. My, uh, my question was, is the durian good enough for eating? Because for me, I'm so hooked on the durian. This, I, I don't see the price tag. I, I smell if the durian is good. Fuck the price tag, I buy it anyway. There's no price in the world can keep if I have the money. I lose my senses. I, I'm gonna buy the durian for sure. And this is so much more expensive than it can ever be in Thailand. Season or no season. It's like 16 euros a kilo. It's not too much. <laughs> I can eat it. <laughs> well, oh, it's so good. Yeah, there are flies on my durian. Dig in, it's good. <laughs> Mika, until we meet again in Thailand. Oh, by the way, I booked a ticket to Chiang Mai for the fruit festival uh, May 29th. 29th. I'm arriving to Bangkok. I'm gonna take a train from Bangkok. It was a cheap flight. 110 euros plus the bicycle, 50 euros. So 160 euros. Chiang Mai. <sighs> so good. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. So satisfied. Peace out. From Oslo. <laughs>